40 years ago, the Space Coast community joined in sorrow over the discovery of several graves of murdered children. The youngsters had all been runaways. There was a huge outcry to help runaways, as there was no such services at the time, says Jan Loke, President and CEO of Crosswinds Youth Services. It was clear that an emergency shelter was needed to protect these homeless youth, and the community, guided by leaders such as Judge Clarence Johnson and psychologist Dr. Robert Layton, united to create the Robert E. Layton Children's Shelter, Crosswinds' first program. The organization's philosophy focuses on providing the right opportunities so all children in Bavard can reach their full potential. In addition to helping runaways, Crosswinds houses children removed from an abusive home environment by the Florida Department of Children and Families. Youths having difficulties at home and needing a cooling off period while counseling resolves the family issues and even teens arrested for domestic violence. Current services also include transitional housing and skills training for young adults 16 to 21, street outreach for homeless youth, counseling to reunite and strengthen families, alternatives to arrest for young misdemeanor offenders, and help for youth aging out of the foster care system. In 2013, Crosswinds touched the lives of more than 5,500 young people and their families through its programs, information, referral, and outreach. For Loke, the greatest reward of the job is hearing back from former clients. On a weekly basis, we get people in their 20s, 30s, and 40s making contact with us to tell us how they're doing, says Loke. In recent years, the nonprofit was named Agency of the Year by the National Network for Youth. Loke credits the organization's success to a devoted staff, a dedicated board, and continued support from residents of the county. We have incredible people helping us and the children, she says. A 2014 Central Florida Humanitarian Organization, Crosswinds Youth Services.